Am I wrong for yelling at my brother's pregnant girlfriend and kicking them both out of my house after she threw away my food? I 27 male live alone. My brother 21 male and his girlfriend 19 female still live with our parents as they can't afford a place of their own. His girlfriend is also currently four months pregnant. My brother asked if he could bring his girlfriend for dinner and order to catch up and I said sure, why not? However, the moment she entered my house she started complaining about the smell of steak I was making. She said just the smell alone makes her nauseous and she can't eat it. I tried suggesting alternatives, but she was dead set on Chinese food and ended up sending my brother to the nearest mall in order to get some. I thought that that would be the end of it, but after going to the bathroom and coming back, I caught her throwing my unfinished steak into the garbage. So of course, I asked her what the hell she was doing, and she said the smell was so strong she thought she'd end up throwing up on the floor. So she said she needed to get rid of it and then started spraying a perfume from her purse in my kitchen. Am I wrong for yelling at my brother's pregnant girlfriend and kicking them both out of my house after she threw away my food? I caught his girlfriend throwing away my leftover steak and she also sprayed perfume spray all over my kitchen. I was beyond furious and sent her back to the living room and when my brother got back from the mall, I kicked them both out with their Chinese food. My brother tried to convince me to let them back and said I could make something else for the two of us and his girlfriend was pretty much sobbing. I was dead set on kicking them out, but my parents got mad at me for apparently causing so much distress to my brother's pregnant girlfriend. I told them she literally threw away our dinner, but they said I shouldn't have yelled at her or kicked them out. Especially because she's a teenager that's being influenced by pregnancy hormones and that my outbursts actually cause problems in her relationship. I guess she ended up sending my brother to sleep on the couch that night, even though he literally defended her. So am I wrong for apparently not having enough tact to deal with a pregnant teenager? Top comment says, if they're old enough to be parents, they're old enough to act like adults. Am I wrong for begging my girlfriend to uphold a sexist tradition so she can make a good first impression? I have a big family that's incredibly close and we have big family dinners every few months where we all meet at my great grandfather's estate. Typically how this works is the women go cook for the time they're there and the men don't, which I'm fully aware is sexist as hell. That being said, I am one of the youngest people in the family and my protests mean literally nothing. Now, not all the women cook and those who choose not to are usually met with a level of ostracizing. And most of the women who choose not to cook do have a good relationship with the family as their wives and long-term girlfriends. But when I've seen new partners not cook, it's gone bad, like completely ostracized, not speaking, cattiness, rudeness, all of that. But once I told her about the tradition, she was understandably bothered. Am I wrong for begging my girlfriend to uphold a sexist tradition just so she can make a good first impression? Initially, she said yes, which is great. I want her to meet everyone and for everyone to get used to her being around. But when I explained the tradition, she was understandably bothered. I told her I understood where she was coming from, but it's better for everyone if she just plays along. I told her it's not a permanent thing and I'm only asking her to do this so she can avoid bad treatment from the rest of the family. This is her first impression and I don't think it's best if we cause waves. Her response was that it's unacceptable and that if she has to do that, then she won't be going. I have tried to compromise with her, but she won't budge and she's pissed at me. She told me that if I think it's acceptable to make her do this, I'm just as bad as everyone else. Top comment says, why won't my girlfriend abandon her sense of self-respect so she can establish herself as a subservient woman? That way my sexist family won't mentally and verbally abuse her. She just doesn't get it. And honestly, you guys, I have to agree. Am I the asshole for throwing money at my wife's desk after she asked my daughter to pay me back? My, 50, daughter, 23, and her husband married in 2020 in a very small ceremony. They weren't able to have a proper reception and invite more family and friends. So their late wedding reception was going to happen in January. The venue was booked, all catering confirmed, etc. We all wanted to contribute to the cost. So a third was paid by us, a third by my son-in-law's parents, and a third by the couple. My son-in-law passed away two months ago, and it's been awful for all of us, especially my daughter, and it breaks my heart to see her like this. We are all with her, and she is learning to stay strong. A couple of weeks ago, my wife casually mentioned that maybe I should ask my daughter to return the portion of the reception costs we contributed, since it's no longer happening. I was shocked. I told my wife my daughter is in very deep pain right now, and I'm never going to ask her for something like this. And my wife dropped the subject. More recently, she brought it up again, saying she's sure my daughter would also agree with us and that the money is ours and she doesn't have to give it back right now. Again, I told her no. I wouldn't be doing anything like that. 
Yesterday, I found out she called my daughter herself to talk about this. Got pretty mad and got all the cash I had lying around and threw it at my wife's desk and asked if she was happy now. She was upset and said I was degrading her when she was just trying to look out for us. I don't think I'm the asshole here, but my wife is pretty upset with what I did. So am I the asshole? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Am I the asshole for dropping the, we're not having kids, now stop bringing it up bomb on my mother-in-law? My husband and I don't want kids. My mother-in-law is big into family in the traditional sense. She has always been pushy about us having kids since we got married. Literally the week after we got engaged, she started asking. My husband has always changed the subject and has even told her that it's really none of her business. Every time we see her, she asks, Everything we do is built around the idea of us having kids. Three years into our marriage, my husband said we might not even have kids, and my mother-in-law would not hear it. At year four, my husband had a vasectomy, and I had a tubal. So this weekend, we were all at their home enjoying some barbecue and drinks and everything. When I get up to grab a beer, my mother-in-law asked me if maybe I should drink water instead because, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you never know. I was annoyed by this and said, there's really no chance. My mother-in-law's all-wide grin said, Oh, come on. It's time for you two to finally get serious. Put down the beer and tell us when we can finally expect you two to make your family official. My mother-in-law gets real annoyed and says, Well, you won't be real, uses the last name, until you bless us with babies. My husband said, Mom, enough. My mother-in-law pushed again and my husband repeated. After about 15 minutes of the usual comments, I finally snapped and said, Mother-in-law. Part 2. Am I the asshole for dropping the we're not having kids, now stop bringing it up bomb on my mother-in-law? I finally snapped and said, mother-in-law, husband got snipped, I had my tubes tied. We're not having kids, you need to stop bringing it up, period. Well, I thought I started World War III. She started crying and stormed off. Family looked at us with disgust and stormed off to comfort her. We left. The party kind of ended and the social media bullshit started shortly after. Vague posts, links about how motherhood is a woman's greatest calling, articles about how unhappy childless women are, etc. Some meme about how, I guess I wasn't a good enough mother, so I won't be graduating to grandmother. It's obnoxious to the point I just muted all of them. My mother-in-law finally called me this morning and told me that she was willing to put all of this behind us if my husband and I came over and listened to her reasons that we really needed to have kids. I told her no and that we were tired of being pushed into this. And she said, well then, I guess you two aren't really prepared to be real. I'd like a refund for what I paid for the wedding. It wasn't that much, like $400 for the rehearsal dinner. I hung up on her. So am I the asshole? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Story time. Everybody's saying that I cheated on my ex-boyfriend, but I want your guys' opinion. So a little background information. I was a college student and I had been with this guy who we're going to call Jacob for about six months. Towards the end of his and I's relationship, stuff just started to get really boring and every day I would get the ick from him. Now at this time also, I had gotten a new job. While I was working, I had met this guy who we're going to call Tim. Since I was a college student, I decided to start working more so Tim and I would see each other literally every day. Him and I really hit it off, like straight away. Not to mention, him and I had a lot of things in common, his sense of humor was great. Well, the one night before work got out, Tim asked for my number. And I said yes. However, since I was still with Jacob, I decided that I was going to break up with him before I texted Tim. So, I broke up with him. Fast forward to now, Tim and I are in a super good relationship. But now everyone's saying that I cheated on Jacob. What do you guys think? Story time about how my stepdad made my mom choose between him and my brothers. So a little background information, I was 13 years old and in 7th grade, and I had two older brothers, Josh and Alex, who were twins and they were both 4 years older than me. Whenever I was 3, my dad left my mom for his dentist, and we never saw him again because he decided to start a whole new family with them. Now because of that, my older brothers always felt like they had a specific role in my family, especially because the guys that my mom brought home, they would only last a week. Well, finally my mom met this guy who's really nice and she decided that she was going to get married to him, but he despised my older brothers. Mainly because before he moved in with us, my mom would not depend on him for anything. Anything that needed taken care of around the house, my brothers would do it. And we didn't have too much money while this guy was loaded. Like the one time my mom and this guy, who we're gonna call Jerry, got into a fight. Like for part two. 
part two about how my stepdad made my mom choose between him or my brothers. So like I said, my mom and Jerry got into this one fight. And it's a super long story, but pretty much all it made Jerry realize was that he did not have authority over my mother. And she didn't have to depend on him for anything because my brothers would always be there for her. Now, Alex was more of the shy one. Meanwhile, Josh was super hot-headed and didn't deal with anybody's bullshit. And fast forward, my mom and Jerry move in together. That's when we realized that Jerry was super abusive. And Jerry knew that he could pick on Alex whenever he wanted because he wasn't going to do shit. And most of the time, Josh wasn't home because he literally hated Jerry. The one time Alex came home and he did really bad on this one test. And Jerry was like, oh, he needs to learn discipline, blah, blah, blah. The next day, we all were sitting down for breakfast and we saw Alex come downstairs with a black eye. And that's whenever Josh flipped the fuck out. He grabbed Jerry, ripped him across the fucking table, and threatened him with a kitchen knife. And my mom called the cops, like for part three. Part three about how my stepdad made my mom choose between him or my brothers. So like I said, he said he needed to teach some discipline. So he literally beat the shit out of Alex. And we all didn't know until he came downstairs the one morning for breakfast. And that's whenever Josh flipped the hell out. He threatened Jerry with a knife. After that, my mom called the cops. I didn't really do anything but try to de-escalate the situation. But after that, Jerry called a family meeting down to the kitchen table. And he was like, I will not deal with this level of disrespect in this house. He was like, you need to choose between me or them. She was like, well, I'm not going to choose between you or my kids. And he was like, well, then you need to choose them leaving the house. They're about to be 18. They can leave and get their own place. So my mom ended up choosing Jerry because Jerry had a lot of money. And my brothers weren't really that mad about it because it got them out of the house. And my mom would send them a lot of money every month. And Jerry never knew about it. But now instead of him being abusive towards my brothers, he's way more abusive towards my mom. 